So hello guys, welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today we are going to work with the file transfer feature again, but this time we are going to take Firebase as our packet. So we are going to transfer the file directly to Firebase and check it out how to work with the cloud storage of Firebase. So let's get started with today's video. So we are going to start with creating a new project, so which I have already done. And the command for creating it up, well, let me just show you. You already know, I think. But this is the command for creating a new project, which we have already done. And you install your Ionic CLI if you haven't done that. So after that is done, I have opened the project out here. And this is our new project where I'm going to go to the home page. And I'm going to clear up everything. And in fact, I'm going to copy everything from the previous video. So uh, I, you just need to watch the previous video if you want to or you can just copy the stuff which I'm showing out here and I'll go to the SCSS and clear everything up. Once that is done, we are good to go. Now in the home page, what am I going to do? I will at first change the title to Firebase File Transfer and then let me remove screen and other stuff which is not needed right now. Now the next thing which I'm going to do at first is to work with the camera plugin. So I'll go to the browser and we are into the firebase console don't worry about it i'll show you how to create a new project but let's go for the camera plugin at first which i'll get it from the ionic framework documentation because capacitor plugins are integrated into the native section now so we can directly check it out from here itself okay and i'll copy this up let's paste it out here quickly now i'm not going to run the second command because we are not going to run this in android or ios in fact i'm going to run it in pwa so that means in the browser so i'm simply going to go to pw elements and out here well i need to copy this up and i'm going to paste it in our project once that will be installed then main.ts file i need to copy and paste this file and for that we need the import also so let's quickly do that up i'll paste it let's get our import and paste it out here fine once that is done, the error is gone and we are good to use this particular plugin because nothing else you need to do and this particular command where it is, this is the second one. In fact, you can try to run this up, but that's of no use right now because we are not running Android or iOS, so it's going to still work. So I'll not run that up and I'll directly go to homepage HTML file and out here I'm of the camera plugin. Now. Before working with that, I'll go to the HTML and work with the iron content at first so that we can have a button on which the camera will work. I'll give some padding to my iron content, just like the earlier lecture or the previous lecture, I would say. And I'm going to paste few things, which will be the image and where actually whenever I select something, it will uh, come up out here. And this is the button, take a picture. So this is the only stuff which I'm doing. Let me go to the TypeScript file and work out here. So I'm going to have few things. First of all, the image property and then the functionality for take picture. So let's create it. Take picture. Okay, within this, we will do everything within the try catch block in this particular manner. And let me make it a sync and I'll paste few functionality directly out here. Okay. All right, import everything which is needed. So this is basically for the permissions. And if you are in not in web, then only you need to access it up, otherwise you errors, okay? Remember that. Now I'll simply import everything. This is the functionality which I'm going to use. I'm going to use data URL, which is much uh, beneficial to work with even in Android iOS and in, even in web also, okay? So this is the functionality and if you have any error, I'm simply going to log that up not to work with, with the errors right now. And after we get the image, this is the email come up directly into our image tag, okay? If you want to try this up and you need to run this project, it will show up. Run Ionic Serve, you will be able to see the changes that is coming up. All right, it has opened up. Let me inspect it. And if I click out here, you can see options are coming out. I'll simply go to Photos and select any one of the photos. All right, so you can see the photo is coming up out here. That's great. It's working pretty nicely. Now we got the data URL and the format. So basically, out here in the image value we are going to get this particular stuff now we need to process this up to send this data to our firebase one and for that we need to create a firebase account so let me just quickly show you add project then i will name the project as upload any name i'm just giving or should i change file transfer 
require base okay and let me enable everything select an account create it's going to take a little bit of time to create this up all right the project is ready let me hit on continue and the project has opened up now what am i going to do well i'll go to the web one and for web if you want the hosting one definitely you can just set this up but i don't want the hosting one right now i'll show you in some other video how to host it up with some another project so this time i'll just keep that or i think i have to do that actually <laughs> if i don't do that i think the registration won't work but okay i just need to give the web name so let me give file transfer firebase and register the app okay once the registration is done it is going ahead and this i'll simply hit on continue to console and we are done right now what am i going to do i'll go to build and go to storage one because i'm going to access only the storage not the fire store this time uh, to save our url or something we are just going to hit the storage save the uh, file out there and get the url directly okay so i'll just get started with this get started in test mode that's what i'm going to do and if you want to change it if you want to run it in live mode uh, means production mode definitely you can go for that and for testing without authentication and please set your security rules to be if true that means it will always allow you okay instead of if false pass if true and publish it up that's it it's going to take a little bit of time to set up the security rules you have to wait for a while all right i think it's done great so everything is ready now uh, and i think we are good to go so we need to just have this application or this project into our main project uh, that means the firebase project into our ionic project we need to link that up and for linking i'm going to stop this ionic server at first and now the first command that i'm going to run out here is firebase login okay yes and it's going to log into my system once the login is done you simply need to go to your project again and run the next command which is npm i dash g firebase tools all right okay once that command is done the next command which i'm going to run is firebase init okay and i'm going to select not even firestore i am simply going to work with this story if you want to work with firestore database also definitely you can check that up but you need to create the database by going to your firebase website out here you simply need to go to the firestore and you will get an option out here to create the database definitely you can simply create it up and move ahead okay so you get an option to create definitely go for that out here i don't know why it is not coming up but anyways it will come up so now i'll just get back to my project and if it's ready i'll simply going for this which one i'll enter i'll select an existing project obviously and the name of the project is file transfer this particular one and everything is good to go so the setup is done now i'm going to run ng add at angular slash fire so this particular command i'm going to run out here now but you need to remember one thing in order to run this command you need to install the angular cli for running the ng command okay if you don't have that definitely it will give you an error so i'll just hit enter and i'm going to go for the installation part and now i'm going to i won't select this ng deploy in fact i'll only select cloud storage okay and hit enter i'll select the account and then the project this particular one and you're good to go so in fact you can create the android and ios application also in your firebase account so you can go for that but out here i am good to go so we are ready now every configuration is done pretty nicely now we simply need to work with the functionality out here and everything is set up out here pretty nicely in our app.module.ts file which you can see correct now in the home page what am i going to do now is to transform this image dot data you are into blob because for transferring the d file to our firebase we need to transfer it in a blob format so we need to do that up and for doing it there is a functionality let me just show you so let me just paste the functionality for data url to blob conversion one this is the one and i'm going to call this out here now so here i'm going to create a constant called blob which i'll initialize to this particular functionality and i'll get the blob at the very end right after that is done we need to simply upload the file for doing that up we need to work with the functionality of firebase now to work with that with the storage one i need to import the storage one in this particular manner all right now the suggestion is not coming up but i need that suggestion this is the one 
from at angular slash wire slash storage this that's the package which i need and this is done now now for uploading this particular image let me pass the functionality so i'm going to pass the functionality out here now this is the functionality where i'm going to get the blob data that will be of type any okay and this is the image data that means the image that we're going to pass so we can pass it directly because we have the data in our this dot image uh, so we can directly work with that so i'll just remove it and nothing needed out here let me change this to let me what name should we give uh let's give test okay so this is basically the file path uh, in your storage by which name you want to keep the folder all right so that is the name that i've given i've just given as test you can give name you want this is gonna be this dot image dot format okay i'm thinking i'm doing wrong image will hold only the data url so i need to pass out here in this particular okay that is image data also data all right let me undo this at first and i'll paste it out here directly okay now this is sorted now for ref i need to import it that's done this will be this dot storage now the file path is basically this particular path where i'm taking the current date also because i'm modifying the name of this particular image where i'm passing the current date and appending it with the format of our file okay now this upload bytes is responsible for converting this particular means for uploading purpose okay so this will help in uploading and then we will get the url using this particular functionality get download url and finally we will have the url out here so that's what we are going to call and this is how we are going to upload the file okay now let's simply call this function and i'll just create a constant called url that will be equals to await this dot upload image where i'm going to pass two values one will be the blob one and the other one will be the image one okay that means this particular one I'm sending it out here and I'll get the URL which I'm simply going to log out here so that you can see and you can simply pass this URL to your Firestore database okay uh, appending with your other data so that's how you can work with but I'm just going to show you this particular stuff by getting this the URL okay now we can simply try this up so we have everything ready out here I suppose correct nothing else to do that's great let's do this now so i'll just go to the functionality uh, that means our project again but i need to run ionic serve at first so let me quickly run ionic serve all right it's ready let's inspect this and take a picture from photos and select any photo all right now once i have selected you can see it has uploaded and this is a url that i'm getting if i just open this up in new tab you can see the image is showing up right so this is how it's pretty simple to upload the image now if you want to try the firestore one also let me quickly do that up but for that we need to do something else too i need to run the firebase in it again because we need to go for the firestore again right that is why so firestore and i'm going to select the storage one this is how you need to do that is why i didn't show you at the very beginning because i wanted to do this particular stuff also so as you can see out here it was showing that uh, we should go to cloud console for using this up because it is showing data store mode so we, in order to change this up i simply clicked on this link and i entered it up out here this is my project and i need to click on switch to native modes maybe i think it might work let's check it out okay got it so now if i just refresh it up let's see whether it changes or not and there we go it is created so there is no problem out here just reload it up collections fail to load because we don't have any collections right now so let me go to the application again and i think this time it's going to work so let me just hit firebase init again and i'll select firestore along with that the storage hit enter and let's see what happens this time i think it's gonna work all right we are getting the rules and everything that's great just hit enter okay error fetching firebase indexes why is that so well what is wrong out here let me just go to the rules and in the rules one i'll set this to true directly and let's publish it up okay it's done and in the indexes what is wrong create index 
Well, I don't want to create any indexes. Now I think work again. Let's try this up again. So too many times we have to try the same thing, but I don't know why it is happening. We should have got done this in one go, but I don't know. Let's do it again. What can we do? Hit enter. Yes, I want to replace it. All right, hit enter. And it's done this time. Storage one also, I'll just replace it. And this time it is completed pretty nicely. And similarly, I'll go for the ng add add angular slash fire command also because we need to add a few more features. If uh, there is any issue, definitely you can tackle this up. So I'll simply select fire store and this time cloud store is just to functionality. Once that is done, I'll select the account again, project this particular one. All right, everything is ready now again. Now once that is done, we don't have to work with the app.module.ts file because all the configuration is ready out here. I simply need to go to the home page and now in the constructor, I need to inject one more thing, which is the Firestore one. So Firestore from Firestore. All right, so this is imported also. Well, this is the wrong import which I've given. So I simply need to remove it and let's check it out this time. I need to import it from uh, this particular one. Once that is done, it is ready. So after we get the URL, well, I simply need to like upload it means uh, to the Firestore. So let's quickly do that up. It won't take long. So similarly, I'll create another function out here that is for adding a document in this particular manner. Let me just pass any because we are using TS config and out there, I if I pass this to false, then the errors will go away. But I don't want to do that this time. Let's do it in this particular manner. I'll just add means import everything. Okay, all the errors are gone. No problem at all. Now directly I'm going to use that functionality in this particular one. All right, so now what am I going to do out here? Well, I'm going to create a constant called response where I'm going to pass this dot document and this is going to be the name of our collection. So let me just name it something. But before that, let me just clear all the data. And out here, let me just pass. What should I pass it as? Let me call it as test on. So, and in the data, I'll create an object. And within this object, I'll simply pass the URL or let me call it image URL. Okay, that's going to be the name where I'm going to simply pass the URL. All right, so our response is also ready. Now we will check the response. What do we get? We will get the ID and all other stuff from that, but I'm not interested in that right now. I just want it to get uploaded. Okay, that's the only thing I want. I think everything is good to go now. We can test it up. Let's try once again. So I'll just check it out okay i just stopped it and uh, let me run ionic serve again okay the app has opened up let me inspect it i'll close all of these files not needed now i'm going to take a picture again let me select it from photos and i'm going to select this up okay the uploading process must have been done you can see out here right and finally this is the response that i'm getting for uploading in the response one if you just click out here, you will see this is coming from the response console log where I'm getting the, uh, if I just select this up, I'm getting the ID also. And if I see out here, if I just refresh it, you will see the data now. You can see the collection is showing up and you have the document out here where we have the image URL, right? If you just select this whole URL, cancel it up and I'll simply go out here, paste it, hit enter you will see that image is showing up. So this is how it is working. I have shown you how to work with the cloud storage of Firebase and also the Firestore. So with this, I'll wrap up this lecture on you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.